This is the STM32 Type-C USB Power Delivery Demonstration. This is the hardware we are using here, based on a Nucleo G0 and also a X Nucleo Sync. So this is for the power delivery. Uh, so that's the hardware and then I'm using a code from our Xcube TCPP uh, package. For this demonstration, I'm using our STM32 Q Monitor UCPD. So this is the software we developed at ST in order to help us you know, develop a USB power delivery application uh, using our STM32 microcontroller. So in this case, as you can see, I'm connected to my Nucleo board, which is connected also to the X Nucleo sync. Uh, so this is a stack version that we're using one port, so I'm only one sync supporting PPS in this demonstration. I'm going to connect to it. All right, so only one port. So let's double click. And now we have new features, more features. We have the trace that will be uh, displayed on this side. We have like the contracts and all the information about, you know, the contract between the sink and the source that will happen. So this is going to be displayed here. And then I have access here to uh, other message selector. So I can send some messages, you know, like, uh, so using uh, this interface right here. Now, what we're going to do, so, so far there is no contract. What we're going to do is start doing a contract. So I'm going to connect a source. My source supports, you know, different PDOs and APDOs. So it supports, you know, like a fixed PDOs so, uh, and also like a PPS, so the APDOs. And that's what we're going to uh, demonstrate also. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my source to the sink. What we're going to do now is connect the source to the sink. So let's do this. Okay, so as you can see, a contract was made. So an explicit contract was made. And now we have 15 volts on VBUS. So the PDO. 15 volts so has been selected, the fixed uh, 15 volts has been selected during the negotiation, you know, when we connected the sink to the source and the source to the sink. So this is what we have now. Now what we want to do is to select a different PDO. We want to select the PPS, so the APDO. So let's do that. Okay, so now back to my uh, graphical interface, so the STM32 Q monitor. So the PDO that was selected so far is this one, so 15 volts. So that's the contract that was made. So, you know, explicit contract has been made between the sink and the source. And the PDO from the source, so the source uh, 4, which is 15 volt, has been selected. So this is a selected PDO. Now we want to select a different PDO which is part of this PPS, so APDO. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to request a new profile, you know, a new power profile. So to do this, first I'm going to select, so I'm going to select this one, the source 7, and then I'm going to select a voltage in the range of this, you know, like a new APDO. So we're going to put 7 and then I'm going to request 6 volts. So that's in millivolts, so 6,000. And now I'm going to send a message. Now a new contract has been made. Now the PPS has been selected. And now I have actually six volts on the VBUS as requested. So as you can see, and now we have some refresh that have been made. So this is part of the PPS, uh, you know, like specification. So every time, you know, like uh, once in a while, we'll have some new uh, updates, you know, being made right here. And that's it. So this is the demonstration to show you how, you know, like we can select a different PDO and a PPS. And I wanted to show you also that here, we can see that our sync yeah, supports basically uh, the PPS. So PPS supports, right? Okay. So I hope you liked the demonstration. Thank you very much for watching.